In this video, we're going to look at solving cubic equations using the factor theorem. Let's take a cubic equation, and I'm going to write this now as the product of three linear factors. So an example might be x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 4. So we can see this is a cubic equation. We can see we've got x times by x times by x. The highest power of x is x cubed. We can also see that the constant is going to be 8 minus 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by minus 4 will give me positive 8. What I'm going to do is write this now in the form ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. So if we expand the first two brackets, we'll have x squared plus x minus 2, and then I'll multiply that by x minus 4. So if I just write this out, we can write the f of x will be equal to x cubed. If we consider the terms in x squared, we've got minus 4x squared plus x squared, which is minus 3x squared. If we look at terms in x, I'm going to have minus 4x minus 2x, which is minus 6x. And finally, I'll have minus 2 times by minus 4, which gives me plus 8. And that now is the constant. If we look at these right here, what we could say is the f of 1 would be equal to 0. We could say the f of minus 2 is equal to 0, and the f of 4 is equal to 0, as we've got now x minus 1 as a factor. If x minus 1 is a factor, then we've got the f of 1 will be equal to 0. We can use this now to try and find a linear factor of a cubic equation. We can then try and write this as a product of three linear factors or the product of a linear factor multiplied by a quadratic. So it won't always be possible to write it as three distinct linear factors, but we can write it as a linear factor multiplied by a quadratic. So if we just consider this case now, we've got now 8 on the end. What we would look to do now is the f of plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 4, and plus or minus 8. So all we would do is systematically go through those and try and find now 1 that will give us the f of a equal to 0. Once we have that, we have a linear factor. Clearly, some choices are going to be better than others. So if you look ahead and say to yourself, I'm going to choose a certain value, then it's probably better that you think, well, is that really going to be a good one? I generally start with 1 and then go to minus 1, 2 and minus 2 if it's not obvious to spot. So let's say we were given this cubic equation and we were asked to factor it fully. So we want to fully factor it. Let's pretend that we haven't seen this. What I would look to do is take the constant of 8. I would look at all of the potential factors that are going to give me 8. And we can see why that's the case just here. Now, if we couldn't factor this particular quadratic, we can still see why we're looking for factors of 8. So what I'd look to do is find now the f of a is equal to 0. So what I'm going to do is start with the f of 1. So let's just say we were given this right here. So if we take this cubic equation, in fact, we'll just move on and we'll write this again. So we've got the f of x is equal to x cubed, and then we're going to have now minus 3x squared. We've got minus 6x, and we've got plus 8. So let's just check I've written that down correctly. OK, so what we want to do is find a linear factor. So what I'm going to do is the f of 1. If we do the f of 1, we're going to get 1 minus 3 minus 6 plus 8. So we end up with 9 minus 9. We can say that f of 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, now, x minus 1 is a factor. So x minus 1 is a factor. At this stage, I can keep going and trying to find the others. So one particular approach that we could do is to find more linear factors. If that's the case, we would be able to express it as a product of three linear factors, which is not always the case. So you can keep going. You can now try the f of minus 1, the f of 2, the f of minus 2, the f of 4, the f of minus 4, the f of 8, and the f of minus 8. I personally think at this stage it's easier to either equate coefficients or use polynomial long division. So let's go ahead and we'll use polynomial long division. So what we're going to now do is divide the cubic equation by the linear. 
That will give us now a quadratic factor, and then we will see if that quadratic factor will factor into two linear factors. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to have x cubed minus 3x squared minus 6x plus 8. We don't need any placeholders. We've got no missing terms in x. So x into x cubed, or what is x cubed divided by x? The answer is x squared. We multiply down x cubed. We multiply down minus x squared. So subtracting away, we're going to get 0 minus 2x squared. Bringing the minus 6x down, x is into minus 2x squared. We'll go minus 2x times. We multiply down minus 2x squared. Then we're going to have now plus 2x. Subtracting down, let's go ahead and do that. That's going to give us 0, and we're going to have minus 8x. Bringing the 8 down, x is into minus 8x. We'll go minus 8 times. We multiply down, we're going to get minus 8x, and then we're going to get plus now 8. So we can see that we've got a remainder of 0. So now we could express this as a product of a linear factor multiplied by this quadratic factor of x squared minus 2x minus 8. So I can now write the f of x is equal to this. So straight off, I've taken a linear factor out as I found that the f of 1 gives me 0. Therefore, by the factor theorem, x minus 1 is a factor, and we have a linear multiplied by a quadratic. Now, we can see that this quadratic can be factored. So we'll just go ahead and we'll have x minus 1. We're going to have x plus 2, and we're going to have x minus 4. So this one now can be given back where we started by factoring the quadratic part. So there we go. That's what we get. We get x plus 2 and x minus 4 from our quadratic. So we can now express this as the product of three linear factors. So let's say that this was equal to 0. Let's say that we had this function of x equal to 0 and we wanted to solve it. So all we would do is write that x cubed minus 3x squared minus 6x plus 8 was equal to 0. I've now found a linear factor. I'm not going to go and try and find more. I've just used polynomial long division, or if you like, you could equate coefficients. So we can now write this as 0. So all I'm going to do now is sketch my cubic equation, and we can see that the solutions are going to be minus 2, 1, and 4. So I'm going to put these on, and we're just going to go ahead and sketch this. So we're going to have now on here, we'll have here minus 2 comma 0. We will have 1 comma 0, and we will have 4 comma 0. If we now consider that this is going to pass now through the y-axis at the point 0 comma 8, that is our constant. So what we're going to have is the cubic equation. It will look something like so. Let's come through that point, round and down. Then we'll turn off, and then we'll come back through here. So it's going to look something like that. And we can say now that the f of x, so y, is going to be equal to our value of x cubed minus 3x squared. Then we have now minus 6x plus 8. So that shows how we can use the factor theorem now to go ahead and look at factoring a cubic expression and go on to solving an equation. So 